It's only for the real. What's going on, Patreons? It's Trey. And it's Tasha. Man to the real, where we keep it real. Euphoria Season 1, Episode 2. Stunning like my daddy. And I can only imagine what they're going to show in this episode. Because Episode 1 blew me away. Y'all saw so many Patreon. ways. Y'all saw it. But uh, we hope y'all having a good one. We're going to go ahead and get into the second episode of Euphoria. Sometimes when I get really high, I kind of think I'm psychic. When Nate Jacobs was 11 years old, he found his dad's porn collection. His dad, Cal, was obsessive. His mom always said that's who he got it from. Then he quickly realized that the colored cases and placement were no accident. Every video was basically the same. They drink, make small talk. Oh, don't make me come. Oh. I'm gonna wait for that. <laughs> and then his dad would fuck the shit out of some fucking whore, fucking slut. Wow. No one he got issues. Wow. I, I, I don't even know. Talk to you. <clears throat> You're a strong man, Nathaniel. I know from the moment you were born. By 12, he had adopted a rigid diet and workout schedule. Within a year, his body fat dropped from 23% to 6%. That's one of the first things he noticed about Maddie. She was basically hairless. He walked her home from school every day. It made him feel good to know that he was there to protect her. He knew the world was full of men who wanted to hurt Maddie. Men who would hang out the windows of their cars and scream obscenities at her. College guys who wouldn't think twice about drugging her. You this is like some next nice level movie. show right here, man. You know why I like it though? Cause like even if he the asshole, you see why he like that though. Yeah. They showing why everybody is how they are. Yeah. The rule like drugs cause they started on pills early. With all them disorders, like it's showing you all that. The urban finger. Only my own. She look like she lying. <laughs> the drugs are kind of cool. <laughs> Wow. Cool to see your ass overdose and don't get back, don't wake back up. Cool before they wreck your skin. Oh, okay. End your life. Mm, okay. I was wondering what he was going to get today. Oh, this family. poor baby here, she just traumatized. I need you to grab me a towel. Oh, my now. goodness. Wow. She is acting her ass she off. Is. Drugs and drinking can make you another person. You know what I'm telling you. Damn. She almost cut them off. She gonna wild. take over the next generation. She gonna lead the next she generation. Took off. She been took over. Bro. She, she gonna rock this shit. When, she when she gonna get her? This is Emmy worthy. Y'all gonna give her an Emmy. Stop playing with her. We'll see next year. I'm two episodes in and talking about an Emmy right now. That's your ex though, so what you tripping for? People do stupid shit. Bro, this is stalker next level, bro. You saw how obsessive he was over certain stuff he liked and disliked, so I should have known this is coming. I have following him about some girl you ain't even with. Why you ain't calling her and trying to put the shit together if that's what you were about? A state issued nurse would come by every day for two hours and she'd legit just play Candy Crush on her phone. Anyway, the point is, he had like a bunch of bills. What if I uh, suck your dick? 
I'm 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 fucked up right now. I I never thought I'd get old. I never thought I would. You fucking creeps on the slip. What you doing with you? <laughs> I can't lie. So, don't be a dick. Oh my god, that's not my fucking problem. You gotta get up out of my house right now before these motherfuckers come through. All I need for real. Is a couple of before who come that's through? That's all I need, and I can be gone. Yo, I'm trying to tell you, she I don't got shit right now. Out. Like, come back in a few hours. I got you, whatever you need. But right now, you gotta get the fuck up out of my house. Now, when Fez said his dudes were coming over, I didn't think his dude would be this dude. My name is Mouse. Mouse? It's a pleasure to meet you. But, you know, that's what happens when you hang out with drug dealers. Mm. Well, Custer, toss me that bag. All right, check it. I got 100 OP OC 80s, 500 Zanny bars, 520s of Addy. I'm low on Vikes, so you a cop in Vikes, you better cop in the day, because I got like 50 left. Don't. Like, it's okay to say no, people. All you have to do he is say no. in front of her. She's game never been in no situation like that before. He he's saying no. Dear God, I know I've been a cunt for like a lot of my life, and I was mean to Lexi and my family, and I'm so 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 sorry. But just please, God, I'm begging you, do not let me die tonight. If that little bit gonna kill you, you don't need it. I was about to say, bro. Oh, my God. Fuck. I didn't do anything, man. Let me ask you a question. Did you rape her? No. Did you rape her? No. So you got to be raping your mouth for you to still be able to date her? Where did you rape her? What is it? Everybody changing their motherfucking minds on me? This is cold guy. That little boy look like he'll yeah, fuck somebody up. That yeah, he boy, look like a savage for yo, real. Yo, I don't know where they got him from. <laughs> he look like he'll His fuck somebody eyes, up. bro. And then he take the boy underwear. What is wrong with this boy? You can beat him to a bloody pulp, bro. She finna start. Oh my god. She's saying the comments are positive and she not used to that. People in school telling her she fat and stuff. You get all these people like, oh, can I see more of her? She finna get paid for this, bro. They finna turn her all the way out. I wonder who this person is. That's that boy, Dad. His name was Dominic something or something. I don't know. His name was something else. You give me bug, bro. Like, just in case this somebody else, I want to see who it is. Because that, his daddy had a different name. That's this boy. He undercover. I ain't got time for this shit. I ain't got time, I ain't got time, I ain't got time. I ain't got nothing but time. Shit, I don't know how y'all feeling, but I'm feeling spectacular. This shit is amazing. Then the little thick girl about to be a, a hoe for Pornhub. Like, a I don't webcam know. girl? Shit. They, somebody, I seen them comments, but somebody was like, they got pictures of her feet, but they had all kind of comments on her. But like, they make money though. But she underage. You should be 18. Like, I, I get that part. Yes. Uh, and then I'm, it's I'm, like one person. That's See, that's why the internet is bad sometimes, y'all. Because you see comments and they can go either way. You see bad comments. People feel like they not worried. They may need to commit suicide or whatever. Then you got somebody that's not used to people liking them and see the good comments and then that automatically go to their head. Like, you got to have some kind of reasoning or a balance or something to be, like, cool. Like, that's why everything ain't for everybody. Yeah. Shit. These motherfuckers get into all kinds of shit. But them views on them porn hug, them, them dollars. Right. Because they <coughs> took down the one and then somebody else posted it. And it, almost 100,000 views. And she looking at the comments like, oh my God. And somebody, I wish my wife would do, was that dirty. Like, they got all them comments. <laughs> oh my goodness. She was scrolling, but I was reading all them comments. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Horrible, bro. Horrible, man. Like, you got to just feel good with the skin you win sometimes because somebody going to like it. Like, but everybody ain't got to like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, she don't went from the kids to school. Kids are always mean. Half of them kids that's calling her fat going to be fat by the time they hit 25. So it don't even matter. Like, when real life hits you and you ain't in your parents' house no more. <laughs> Or sometimes when you get to college, like that freshman, what how many, that ain't no joke. Sometimes they end up being Bruh, more than that. My freshman, sophomore, and junior year, I weighed 135. Over the summer of junior year, I gained 10 pounds. What? What? I was one. No, I was 135. And then when my senior, year, I was 145. Got to college, when I jumped to 160. I was like, wait a minute. Bruh. Cause you you by yourself then and then it's just like you eat like, everything like you and eat I know it's hard to tell like somebody that's in school not to pay attention to what people say but I mean at the end of the day long as ain't nobody putting their hands on you physically I know it's hard but sometimes you just gotta be your own fucking unicorn and just be great by yourself like just like you got jewels and you got like uh rue they little relationship where they both kind of like outcast and weird or whatever. Cool. Sometimes you you can find that one person and y'all just be good together. Like you don't need no crowd. Them mm-hmm. hoes. Cause them same people. I'm telling y'all, a lot of them ain't I'm gonna telling be you, but shit. By the time going. the reunion come, y'all gonna look back like this. This ain't working. Like the dude that was so hot to all the girls, then they gonna be like, "Bro, I just can't wait to get that boy." Uh, what's his name? I don't. I'm trying to think. Is his name really Tyler? And how they even meet up anyway to start talking like that? But you dating this other girl, so you not happy. You acting like you are. You out here, you gonna be just like your daddy. You gonna get with that girl, and then you still want like outside shit. You doing all that extra to that boy, and you talking to somebody else anyway. I don't know. I'm gonna have to see how this go because he don't. He can't know that that's the same person from the party. I can't see that happening at all. Because when he was responding, it seemed genuine, not like it was plotted. You get what I'm saying? Like, I had a rough day. Can you believe, like, I miss talking to you or whatever? Like, that's something just, I don't know. That's going to blow up so bad when they figure that out. Yeah. Because that's why I'm like, is he still in school with them? Because, like, the black boy in college, and they was all but, cool. But they were in a, remember, they were at the assembly. He was number 18. He's, they, he's still playing football. He was at the little pep rally in the uh, cafeteria life. So he was there. I think you know, even if he didn't know her, I would feel like she'd know him if he the popular kid and you quarterback and all that. Sure. So that's why I'm just wondering if that's his actual name. But I guess I'll have to see or whatever. But maybe we Ooh, missed this on him, man. This is this is really good. Like I'm, I'm just, actually I'm glad of, I so waited many to, kids to remember. Like I yeah, can't like I'm me. really glad I waited to watch this till it went off because like this is something I want to binge. Like you know what I mean? Like this, this is good. My nerves bad though. Man, man, this is some man. Like this is this is this is rough. This is one of these rough shows that you have to talk about, man. Like everything is. Like, but I like that they putting it out there. Like this is a good show, and it's on HBO, so I know only adults may see it and kids that got access to HBO. But sometimes it's good to see other kids fuck up, so you'll know that you're not by yourself or what not to do. Like some people feel like they show you something bad, it's gonna automatically make you do it. Some people got sense enough not to do that shit when they see it fuck over somebody else. Like you get what I'm saying? Yeah. You seeing the main character like OD on the first episode. And her sister and mama got to deal with that. Like, you seeing that it's not just about you. You seeing that it's messing up the, your family, too. Like, people that care about you, you hurting them, too. Yeah. And that was like, I thought the dude that was the firefighter that said he was a crackhead, he was saying that it canceled each other out. But at the end of the day, I wish he would have brought up that you a firefighter and you risking the lives you're supposed to save because you might not be sober on your job. Like, what if you go in to save somebody and something happened or you get a cold sweat or whatever because you ain't had no drugs today and all y'all end up burning up in the damn fire. Like, you have to look at it like that too. They don't cancel each other out. Like, uh-uh. But it is how it is. Euphoria. Euphoria. That's all I can say. All right. Well, we're going to get up out of here. Mm-hmm. Thank you for your support, Patreon. Sorry, my eye, fucking eyelash. I know how I go. Um... 
We're going to keep bringing y'all Euphoria. Yes, we We're going to bring y'all other stuff. Don't worry. The anime is coming. If yeah. Or anime watching is coming. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow is anime day anyway. But hey, y'all, stay up. Stay real. Thank you for your love and support. Mm-hmm. It's Trey. And it's Tasha. Man, to the real. Y'all be sure to stay real. You not ready to watch, so you might as well subscribe. Please.